Hey, I am here with Monty McCurley, and Monty is our new, well, what's your title? Well, I have a title that says I'm the Director of, of Annuities and uh, Securities, but that okay. entails a lot. So um, I, uh, I try yeah. to handle all of our annuity production in-house. I work with all of our downlines, okay. um, talking about different cases they may have, uh, getting them illustrations, and then walking through the illustrations with them to help them understand it. Mm -hmm. And then I just recently, um, I, I do have my securities license, so I just recently attached with a a broker dealer out of Dallas so now I can do uh, managed money with my securities license which is huge because you can't put all of people's money in an annuity so true. then we can do some managed That's money. That's like day one right? Yeah, you, gotta, exactly. you gotta split it up. Right? Yeah unfortunately you can't do all million dollars. So. Right so uh, why did we I, I think I know but for the folks that are watching why did we go out at Secure Insurance Group and hire a financial strategists such as yourself what's what would be the purpose of that right i think one thing that brian discovered over the last few years is we were just leaving so much money on the table um, there's there's ten thousand people turning 65 a day which corresponds to retirement mm -hmm. and 401ks and everything else so we're just leaving that money laying on the table whether we're right. going in and running a life appointment uh, final expense uh, Medicare, whatever it may be. So we really wanted to take advantage of that. And then we have our, obviously our agency's growing, we're getting really big. So we needed somebody to spend some time with the agents and, and teach them the annuities and the process and how to find that money. Okay. So you mentioned something there. We are, our, our, our agency here in-house is mostly Medicare. I would say we lead right. with Medicare mm -hmm. pretty much all the time. I read something here a while back that says, don't waste AEP on Medicare alone, right? right? I think there's a lot of agents that are gonna go out and they're gonna see 100 people, 200 people, maybe even if you're in the Josh Young's category, 1,000, right. 1,500 people yeah. and get in front of them. And there's compliance with Medicare. You can't cross sell and stuff like that. Right. But what are, I don't want our agents just to sell Medicare. I think they're leaving, would you agree, they're leaving a lot of money on the table. Oh, I agree 100%. And when I was with Secure earlier, that was one of my biggest things I would visit with any agent that would listen to me is, you know, multi-lining. Mm -hmm. I come from State Farm, and, and if you didn't multi-line, they would run you out of the, the company. So what, What's multi-lining? Well, we're going we're gonna to go in and we're going to offer them uh, Medicare, the hospital indemnity, uh, final expense. You know, the more policies that we can get within one household, the longer we're going to keep them, the longer we're going to retain them. Mm -hmm. State Farm had a study that said, you know, if you get somebody with one line of business, they may leave you within a year, which how many times does that happen with yep. Medicare? Mm -hmm. Okay. But then you go in and put two and three and four. If you can get five lines of business in one household, those people are going to stay with you 10 years or longer. Nice. And the customers we're seeing, that's going to be close to the rest of their lives. Yeah. So it's, it's extremely important to me because taking care of your client should be your number one goal. And if you're leaving out the hospital indemnity or their final expense, long-term care, uh, helping them with their safe money, then you're not doing the best job you can for your customer. Right. And, I mean, the reason people get into Medicare is for retention. Correct. You know, so the longer mm -hmm. we can retain, it's the residual income. That's right. the gold in Medicare. Yeah. Okay, so you're talking to a lot of people, right? Let's say, you, let's say you've got a room full of 100 agents mm -hmm. that all they do is Medicare. Right. We don't do what we don't go because we, do, we don't do what we don't do because we don't know what we don't know, right? right? Mm -hmm. So I hope that made some what of a sense. You got yeah. me. Uh, what would you say? Give me three questions because really all they've got to do is find it, mm -hmm. bring it to us. Yes. We will help them. Mm -hmm. Give me three questions that a person could ask when they're sitting there talking with someone about Medicare. Right. The number one question I ask um, at, at the end of the Medicare appointment, and, and like you mentioned earlier, there's compliance and things, but the very simple question is, are you happy with your CD money in the banks? And the answer is no. The answer is always no because it's less than 1%. Um, and you're going to, you know, a lot of these houses you're going into may not be the nicest house. The people don't dress nice. You ask a few questions and they re you realize they got a million dollars in CDs. Mm -hmm. It's happened to me several times yep. just by asking that simple question. Uh, that's, that's the number one question I would just, if, if you can only remember one, start with that. And I promise you, you're going to get some responses that you like. Um, another one would be, um, you know, are you are you are, are you comfortable with your money still having uh, the risk of being in the market? Would you be interested in having a conversation about safe money? 
Okay. Okay. Nice. So just those questions like that, and then you know if you're if you're wanting to get a little more technical, uh, would you like to be earning three to four times as much interest on your safe money as what you are in the bank with absolutely no risk whatsoever? Nice. Okay. So you're talking about CD rates. You're talking about their bank rates. You're talking about safe money. And the products that we offer are guaranteed not to lose money. Right. Okay. Last question. I'm going to give you an objection because this is the one I hear all the time with safe money or annuities or whatever. Right. With my CD, it's liquid. Right. right. You know, I can call Bob down at the bank, tell Bob I'm going to buy this, this, and this. He'll cut me a check out of my CD. With your annuities, it locks my money up. Right. What would you say to that? Um, I'd be very comfortable with that because you do have access to your money that's in the uh, the annuities. Okay, CDs. If you get money out during the term, you lose your interest for that entire term. So you're gonna depend. Most banks are like that, but with your annuities, you can get up to ten percent free withdrawals, penalty free withdrawals every year. So if you've got Five hundred thousand in there, you could get fifty thousand every year, penalty free withdrawals. Nice. So it is locked up a little bit more because you are getting one number one, a guarantee that you will not lose money in the in the product. And then you're getting the upside of the market. So they do require you to lock that in anywhere from five to seven to ten years. But you do have access to a portion of your money. Nice. Guys, get out there and as you're in Medicare, as you're talking to your clients, all you gotta do is make the introduction to money, right. right? Just make the introduction. He can help you through it. He can help you uncover some money and really change. I mean, Monty, what's an average annuity? Average uh, for a beginner is going to probably be somewhere around $100,000 mm -hmm. in, in annuity. Um, depending on your contract level, you know, that's probably going to be 60000 or I'm sorry, $6,000 or gonna more. Say, I was about to go write Yeah, I'm going to go write a bunch of those. But yeah, you know, you're if you, if, here, Brian. If you he can, said they could have $60,000. Yeah, if you can do a million dollars in annuities a year, you're going to add $60,000 to your bottom line, and you're also going to retain more of your Medicare clients. Yeah, that's incredible. Another 60 grand wouldn't hurt. Guys, thank you. I appreciate you watching this and, and reach out to us. If you have any questions yeah. on annuities, uh, you can reach Monty here at the office. Yes. Uh, give us your email here, Monty. Uh, Monty, M-O-N-T-Y dot McCurley, M-C-C-U-R-L-E-Y at secureig.com. And you can also reach me at the office. Our uh, number here at the office is 417 eight eight three nine three zero zero and just reach out anytime i'll get back with you just as soon as i can let's go move a little money